Good morning. It is my pleasure to welcome everyone to Convocation, which celebrates the start of the 2020-2021 academic year at Cal State San Bernardino. Today's Convocation is being recorded and the chat feature is active. I hope you all enjoyed your summer and had some time for recreation, relaxation, and reflection. And of course, remain safe and healthy. Today, we will be recognizing those who have earned educational milestones, saluting those who went above and beyond in their performance at CSUSB, and remembering those members of our community who have passed on. And President Tomas Morales will give the convocation address. I would now like to turn it over to three important campus leaders to bring their messages of welcome. Beth Steffel, Chair of the Faculty Senate and Statewide Academic Senator. Alfredo Barcenas, Chair of, fa of the Staff Faculty uh, Council. And, excuse me, Staff Council. And Graciela Moran, President of the Associated Students Incorporated. Beth? The Faculty Senate represents faculty and shared governance at the university. Please visit the Faculty Senate website where you can find currently addressing. You can also contact one of your college's Senate representatives or any of the members of the Senate Executive Committee whom I'm about to introduce. Please join me in welcoming the Faculty Senate Executive Committee for the 2020-2021 academic year. Donna Garcia, Vice Chair, College of Social and Behavioral Sciences Representative. Ann Johnson, Secretary, Jack H. Brown College of Business and Administration. Claudia Davis, Member at Large, College of Natural Sciences. Young Suk Huang, Member at Large, College of Education. Jacqueline Hughes, Chair, Educational Policy and Resources Committee. Karen Kolomainen, Chair, Faculty Affairs Committee. And Mark Groan, Statewide Academic Senator. Thank you all for your hard work and dedication. The Staff Council proudly serves as representatives and ambassadors on university task forces and committees by participating in shared governance and facilitating positive and collegial communication in support of the university's strategic plan. We act as a conduit to engage and support our fellow PAC members and the surrounding community, empowering excellence through learning opportunities, staff recognitions, special events, and engaging partnerships that promote and enhance our experience at CSUSB. Please join me in welcoming the Staff Council Executive Committee for the 2020-2021 academic year. Robert Garcia, Vice Chair, Felipe Jimenez, Treasurer, and Diana Quijano, Secretary. Thank you for your time, service, and dedication. Hello, everyone. My name is Graciela Moran. I am a fifth year global studies major, minoring in political science, and I'm serving as this year's ASI president and CEO. I'd like to introduce our ASI officers for this year. We are very excited to represent our amazing students, and we plan to continue putting on fun and educational events to increase student involvement, as well as provide access, quality, and affordability to our students. It is now my pleasure to introduce the executive ASI officers for the 2020-21 academic year. Marina Stone, Executive Vice President. Paola Galvez, Vice President of Finance. Thank you very much. As we look forward to our future, it is only right that we also remember the past. At this time, we will take a moment to honor those faculty and staff who have served CSUSB who have passed away recently. Join me as we respectfully recall our late colleagues.
Thank you. At the beginning of the program today, you may have had a chance to see all of our faculty and staff who have received promotions or are new to the campus on your screen. At this time, I would like to acknowledge all of you and offer my congratulations to those that received tenure or were promoted and to those new to the campus. Welcome to CSUSB. It is a tradition at CSUSB to recognize the employees who have achieved educational milestones during the past year. Because of the impressive number of individuals who have done so, their names will appear on your screens. Congratulations to all of you on reaching your educational milestones. And for those who earn your degree from CSUSB, you are now a part of our CSUSB alumni family. We now move to the awards portion of our program. To begin, I would like to acknowledge five of the most significant campus award recipients. As you know, the university could not excel without an exceptional faculty. CSUSB's most coveted faculty recognitions are the Golden Apple Award, the Outstanding Professor Award, Outstanding Scholarship Research and Creative, Creative Activities Award, the Outstanding Lecture Award, and the Outstanding Faculty Advisor Award. The Golden Apple Award for Teaching is one of the most prestigious awards given. This year's winner is Parastu Faze or Ingelim, affectionately known as Dr. Faze. Dr. Faze is a professor of English and has been a stellar member of our campus for more than a decade. She is being recognized today for her exceptional and vast teaching record her dedication to teaching and mentorship of our students, and for creating positive improvements in several of CSUSB's courses. Congratulations, Dr. Faze, for being honored with the 2019-20 Golden Apple Award. This year's Outstanding Professor Awardee and the John M. Fowle Endowed Professor is Kim Cousins. Dr. Cousins, a professor of chemistry and biochemistry, is the recipient of the university's top faculty honor. She is recognized for overall excellence in teaching, scholarly activities and uh, scholarly activities and creative activities and service. Dr. Cousins, who also chairs her department, has multiple external grants of nearly $20 million from public and private agencies, furthering the mission of the university by creating a teaching environment that engages both undergraduates and graduates alike. Congratulations, Dr. Cousins. This year's outstanding scholarship Research and Creative Activities Awardee is Alam Mutaseb. Communication Studies Professor Dr. Mutaseb, who also manages the department's graduate program and the Center for Islamic and Middle Eastern Studies, co-produced and co-directed the award-winning film, 1948, Creation and Catastrophe. 
She has also published seven peer-reviewed articles, two peer-reviewed book chapters, and 12 book reviews. Additionally, she has given 34 conference presentations and has 40 invited presentations nationally and internationally. Congratulations, Dr. Mutasab. The outstanding lecturer for 2019-20 is Michael Hawkins. Dr. Hawkins is a full-time instructor in the Department of History. He began teaching at CSUSB in spring 2010, and he's taught several undergraduate courses, including History of U.S. Civil War and Reconstruction, 1861 through 1877, the United States, 1917 through 1945, American Civilization, and United States History from 1877. He is being recognized for his exceptional instruction, capacity to engage his students, and the extremely positive feedback received from those he has taught as well as his colleagues. Congratulations, Michael, for being recognized with CSUSB's Outstanding Lecturer Award. The Outstanding Faculty Advisor Awardee is Bibiana Diaz. Dr. Diaz is an Associate Professor of Spanish in the Department of World Languages and Literatures. She is being recognized for her passion, commitment, and dedication to student success and providing career and life guidance. Dr. Diaz is the faculty advisor to the CSUSB Student Theatrical Group, Acto Latino Teatro Universitario, where she has won the Advisor of the Year Award and a Diversity Award for creating campus-wide academic and cultural events. She has also helped a dozen students get accepted to the graduate program at Middlebury College, one of the nation's premier institutions for language education, and secured them more than $400,000 in scholarships. Congratulations, Dr. Diaz, on being selected the Outstanding Faculty Advisor Award. It is now my sincere pleasure to introduce the Vice President for University Advancement, Robert Nava. Thank you, Provost McMahon. Buenos dias y bienvenidos. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. We look forward to the new academic year with its unprecedented challenges and yet with many opportunities to serve our students, faculty, staff, and our more than 104,000 alumni. At convocation each year, we celebrate excellence and we give awards to those outstanding individuals and groups who have provided extraordinary service to our campus and our community. It is my pleasure to announce the Divisional Distinguished Service Award recipients. These individuals are being honored for outstanding service in their division, and they will receive a personalized plaque and a $500 financial incentive. The winners you will be receiving an email from Human Resources with all the prize details. So let's begin with the Division of Academic Affairs, Michelle Fuller. Academic Affairs, Star Wiles. Administration and Finance, Eliana Nguyen. Administration and Finance, Mona Sinha.
Information Technology Services, Tiffany Chiang. Information Technology Services, Tanner Carollo. And from University Advancement, Corinne McCurdy. I would add that today is Corinne's birthday as well. Everyone join me in congratulating all of our Distinguished Divisional Service Award recipients. And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce my friend and colleague, Vice President of Administration and Finance, Dr. Doug Freer. Doug? Thank you, Vice President Nava, and good morning and Happy New Year, everyone. On behalf of all my dedicated and talented colleagues in the Division of Administration and Finance, we bring you warm greetings and hope you and your families are safe as we begin the new academic year. I have the distinct honor of announcing the winners of the President's Team Achievement Awards. This award is given to a group or groups involved in a specific project, initiative, or event that supports collaboration, innovation, responsiveness, service, and or teamwork. The winners of this year's award will receive a personalized plaque and a $200 financial incentive. Team with, teams with more than 10 staff members will receive a pro rata share of $2,000 in financial incentives. Not bad. Faculty and MPP team members though are not eligible for the financial incentive. The winners will be receiving an email from Human Resources with all the prize details. Our first President's Team Achievement Award goes to a group of individuals representing all segments of the campus community that overcame unique challenges and provided an exceptional shared experience. Faced with the challenge of the COVID-19 pandemic safety protocols, the group pulled together to switch its scheduled event to a virtual format. They made sure the two-day program offered a theme that resonated with attendees and featured relevant workshops, speakers, and discussions. Collectively, the program cultivated professionalism psychological safety, intellectual, and emotional development with all the participants. The group also demonstrated CSUSB's core values of inclusivity, social justice, and equity throughout the process, and took intentional steps to invite and encourage remote participation by staff, faculty, administrators, students, and their families. Their collaborative style, responsiveness, and high service oriented mindset led to a record level of campus participation and a 25% increase from the previous year. This group set a standard that will increase interest and involvement for this traditional university event for years to come. Please join me in congratulating with our virtual applause, our first winner of this year's President's Team Achievement Award, the Employee Development Days Team. Congratulations. And now for our second Team Achievement Award. Our second President's Team Achievement Award goes to a gathering of dedicated and responsive professionals who created a dynamic and innovative project in response to the restrictions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. When the state's shelter in place order halted in-person activities, this group chose to change the nature of its presentations to fully embrace virtual interaction by students, faculty, staff, and the general public. The group started working on the transition March 19th, and one week later launched its new platform. Fully aligned with both its own and the university's vision, it intentionally engaged people from all walks of life and age groups. The result was relevant and meaningful cultural experiences for the widest array of audiences that served to illuminate inspire, enrich, and transform lives. 
The group pioneered numerous innovative online programs, some involving extensive interinstitutional collaborations. During spring quarter, the group applied for numerous funds and grants, both internal and external. In serving our students, faculty, and the community, this group proved to be extremely resourceful, inventive, diligent, and disciplined. You'll please join me in congratulating the second winner of this year's President's Team Achievement Award, the RAFMA at Home Team. Congratulations, and once again, congratulations to both of the Team Achievement of Winners. Now, no doubt this will be one of the more unique and strange academic years we've experienced, but I'm looking forward to it and hope you are too. It is now my pleasure to turn the virtual podium over to my colleague, the Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Paz Alavarez. Enjoy the day, everyone. Thank you, Doug. It's my honor to reveal the winners of the President's Special Achievement Award. This year's winners will receive a complimentary membership to the Robert and Francis Fullerton Museum of Art, complimentary tickets to music and theater arts department performances, complimentary general admission tickets to the next athletic event season, all when we come back to campus. Of course, um, as well as a personalized plaque and a $1,000 financial incentive. The winners will be receiving an email from HR with all of the prize details. Now, for the winners of the President's Special Achievement Awards. Employees nominated for this award are being acknowledged for a specific contribution to their department, division, or the university. The contribution may be for a single event, project, or idea over the past year that has had, and, excuse me, enhanced productivity, efficiency, or effectiveness, and represents a specific identifiable contribution beyond the regular expectations of the position. So for the first award, it's my pleasure to announce our first winner. This individual was drawn uh, has drawn on personal experience, knowledge, and skills to provide a central service that assists current and prospective students as well as fellow university staff members. Having already completed and implemented an initial online application in spring 2019, this person began to work on five additional applications the ensuing fall with some nearly completed by February 2020. One week after the university issued work from home protocols, he and his colleagues moved forward with launching three of the application applications, which immediately created a flood of inquiries. How could these applications be, pur be purposed and how quickly could more be developed? Outside of his specific areas of expertise, he drew on psychology, human behavior, the English language, and a great deal of institutional knowledge. New applications were created and launched to assist advising, admissions, the career center, parking, and the gear up program. These website applications known as chatbots provide information to students visiting the website 24 seven and relief to overtax staff in the departments that the bots serve. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing this year's first President Staff Award for Special Achievement to David Basilia. Congratulations. Now I would like to reveal our second winner. This individual showed persistence and untiring focus in advocating for CSUSB students and faculty while also ensuring agreements with external agencies are carried out as agreed upon by the university. After a decision by the Chancellor's Office in spring 2019 determined the disbursement of student support payments and stipends could not exceed the cost of attendance, this person began a long and extensive effort to discover alternative means of allowing students to receive all of their funds. Following numerous phone calls, policy review and direct consultation with representatives at the Chancellor's Office, colleagues at other CSU institutions and her collaborative CSUSB colleagues, her determination led to the discovery of two additional tests that could be applied to such payments. Her solution proved to be more reasonable to all parties involved. The result is our students participating in sponsored projects, many of whom cannot hold outside jobs and still take part in these projects. And now they can receive their full SSP amounts. It also allows CSUSB to be more proactive in serving its principal investigators and students. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing this year's second Outstanding Employee Award winner, Julie Wessel. Congratulations. Now please join me in welcoming our Vice President and CEO for Information Technology Services, 
Dr. Sam Sudakar. Thank you very much, Dr. Oliveras. On behalf of Information Technology Services, I'd like to welcome the campus community to the new 2020-2021 academic year. ITS supports the academic mission of our university by connecting resources for teaching, learning, research, and operational excellence. The success of our stu students is key and the technology is transformational. I have the pleasure of announcing the winners of the Outstanding Employee Awards. This award goes to an individual who according to the criteria demonstrates excellence in job performance and exceptional willingness to assist others. This year's winners will receive a complimentary membership to the Robert and Francis Fullerton Museum of Art, complimentary tickets to the Music and Theater Art Department performances, complimentary general admission tickets to the next athletic events season for when these events resume, personalized plaque and a $1,000 financial incentive. The winners will be receiving an email from HR with all the prize details. This award also carries a very special bonus. Each of our two recipients will receive a designated parking space for one academic year when we return back to campus. It is my pleasure to announce this year's first winner. This individual is a committed professional whose work focus expands far beyond campus borders. This person's efforts support, inform, and encourage current students, their families, alumni, and members of the community CSUSB serves. Extremely knowledgeable in all aspects of relevant policies and best practices, this person shares that information and spreads understanding of the challenges and unique experiences of those she supports and assists. Engaged in a number of efforts to promote and enhance diversity at CSUSB, she also works with local schools and community organizations to provide information sessions for students and parents, as well as specialized training for K-12 professionals. She helped secure a $400,000 three-year grant providing funding to employ student assistants, peer mentors, and tutors, and has worked with donors to support scholarships and fellowships. She led development of the Immigrant Parents Rising Institute and was instrumental in creating the first undocumented alumni chapter in the CSU. Her efforts continue to provide a safe space, a sense of community support, and critical programs and services for CSUSB's undocumented students. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing this year's first Outstanding Employee Award winner, Maria Maldonado. Congratulations, Maria. Now I'd like to congratulate our second winner. This individual is a selfless, resourceful professional who has made a tremendous impact in a relatively short time. This person oversees a program that assists students at both the San Bernardino and Palm Desert campuses, and which is a role model for similar programs throughout the CSU. Committed to serving students and working with a variety of university divisions, offices, and programs, this individual hired, trained, and developed student staff members on both campuses. With the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, she and her team were designated essential employees maintaining weekly service hours while wearing PPE and engaging in distancing protocols throughout the spring term. Her work includes establishing a new emergency housing program in partnership with the Department of Housing and Residential Education. She collaborated with campus partners to create a new basic needs website, and she secured two grants totaling more than $1 million to support the university's food, housing, and financial insecurity programs, as well as staffing needs. Last fall, she led coordination of the most successful food drive in CSUSB history. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing this year's second Outstanding Employee Award winner, Natalie Cleary. Congratulations, Natalie. Please join me once again in congratulating all of the nominees and award recipients. At this time, it is my privilege to introduce the fourth president of California State University, San Bernardino, 
Dr. Tomas D. Morales. Good morning. I'm delighted to see so many joining us as we begin the 2021 academic year here at Cal State San Bernardino. This year is unlike any other in the history of this institution. We begin it as we finish the previous one, serving our students in a primarily virtual format. The university is moving forward as we deal with critical issues involving public health, personal contact, and human interaction. Managing a new normal, we will continue to adapt and adjust as circumstances dictate. Something else makes this convocation distinctive. Today, we proudly begin CSUSB's first ever fall semester, successfully transitioning from the quarter system. It has been a lengthy and intricate process involving every sector of our campus community. I want to thank the faculty and staff who led the Q2S steering committee and its accompanying subcommittees, including the transformation of the curricula, which will further enhance a CSUSB education. Yet with all the obvious differences this year brings, there remains a warm and welcome feeling to Convocation 2020. We open this, our 55th year, as we always have, dedicated to continuing our educational mission. Our university remains focused on the essential need to maintain a learning environment that is safe and supportive. We are extremely grateful for those essential workers who have continued to do their jobs on campus throughout the pandemic, keeping it safe, secure, and functioning effectively. The past six months have called on us to continue prioritizing the health, safety, and welfare of our students, faculty, and staff. In the face of the ongoing global pandemic, we must sustain that effort, verifying to all that we can effectively operate and follow the best course to overcome this great challenge. We do so while also supplying essential resources and assistance that allow our students to continue their academic progress and succeed. Likewise, we remain firmly resolved to offer vital support to our outstanding faculty and caring staff. Last month, Chancellor White offered an update on the state of the CSU budget. We face a harsh financial landscape for at least three years. CSUSB's budget has been decreased by $13.9 million as compared to a year ago, a permanent reduction. Four core principles will guide our budget planning, all based on sustaining the success of our students, faculty, and staff. We are committed to prioritizing the delivery of the academic mission, inclusive of instruction and support services, minimizing impact to current employees as much as possible, aligning the budget to ensure successful programs and services across all divisions and colleges, and maintaining high levels of financial transparency as we manage this crisis. To realize these principles, each of us must be willing to make additional sacrifices to reduce expenditures. The University Budget Advisory Committee, comprised of faculty, staff, and student leadership, continues to meet and review budget updates and provide critical feedback and guidance. We will also hold another open budget forum during the fall semester. I am confident that in the midst of these difficult circumstances, 
you will not allow our financial challenges to interfere with your commitment to the success of our students. This year, we will also continue following the schedule for WAS accreditation. This is an extensive and involved process, and I greatly appreciate the tremendous contributions being made by faculty, staff, and students. Growth and progress as a university requires constant vigilant review. It is an essential part of our evolving as an educational institution and as a resource to the communities we serve. As we officially open this academic year, there are two impressive achievements I am proud to highlight. I begin with the announcement of a new school, the School of Entrepreneurship, within the Jack H. Brown College of Business and Public Administration. The first of its kind in California, it positions CSUSB to attract the finest students and faculty. It will also greatly benefit the inland Southern California economy and its developing entrepreneurial community. Over the past year, our faculty and staff have attracted a number of prestigious grants and contracts. One example is a recent $5 million National Science Foundation Crest II Research Grant. I want to thank the many faculty and staff who made these and many other achievements possible. We again have many new faces joining our campus community, especially the additions to our faculty, staff, and administration. Each of you bring an impressive array of knowledge and experience to our vibrant community. I gladly welcome you to our university. We also welcome our undergraduate and graduate students. That includes both the newcomers, getting their initial taste of coyote life, and those entering their final months at CSUSB as they work towards graduation and prepare for the next step on their life path. During convocation, we take time to honor our past and recognize our achievements. We are continuing to advance the university's strategic plan. Originally envisioned to cover five years, this past academic year, we came together as a community and extended the existing plan through 2022. This allows us to build upon the great work already completed and to enhance its effect with new objectives added to the established five goals. Our lead goal, student success, goes to the very heart of our educational mission. We continue making progress in supporting and advancing the CSU Graduation Initiative 2025. Recent data reflects we are on track to meet our targets. Our first time freshman 2016 cohort have a four year graduation rate of 24.2% and our 2014 cohort achieved a six year rate of 58.8%. Transfer students have a two year grad rate of 55.9% and a four-year rate of 80.4%. New objectives added to our student success goal include increasing access to course offerings and providing additional flexibility, involving both face-to-face -face and online instruction. We also intend to increase online student training to deliver high-quality courses virtually. Academic Advising Services will examine all available data to expand and enhance programs in order to promote timely graduation 
and career exploration. They will also implement student worker enhancements for all undergraduate and graduate students and remove administrative barriers while creating processes that are AI driven and mobile compatible. The second goal, faculty and staff success, is essential as we maintain our educational mission and foster innovation, scholarship, and discovery. A major step in this effort was the 2017 establishment of the Faculty Center for Excellence and the Staff Development Center. With the aim of helping further strengthen faculty virtual teaching for the new semester and in collaboration with campus leadership, Academic Technologies and Innovation and the Teaching Resource Center launched the CSUSB Summer Virtual Teaching Institute. It was designed to support faculty with tools and techniques to enhance their ability to provide our students a rigorous and exceptional learning experience in the virtual format. The Staff Development Center's Career Pathways Certificate Program offer training for administrative support, student services, and finance and related professionals. Participants obtain instruction for success in their field, exposure to other positions, or insight on another classification. The Academic Affairs Division launched the Office of Research Development, which continues to assist faculty in strengthening their research agenda. And since 2015, we have appointed 190 new tenure track faculty, of which 50 represent a net increase. Among the additional objectives established for faculty and staff success is an assessment of existing diversity recruitment, development, and program offerings. There is also the creation of a coordinated support structure for faculty development, which includes targeted support for lecturers. The third goal, resource sustainability and expansion, involves our firm commitment to the current and future infrastructure and capacity of this university. The historical success of the $50 million campaign for CSUSB, which saw university advancement raise $54 million for institutional and student support, stands as a milestone achievement in our history. During the first five years of the strategic plan, the university has added 136,000 square feet of usable area to the campus space portfolio. Through the Office of Research and Sponsored Programs, 526 grant proposals were submitted during the past five years, resulting in more than $156 million in awards. Looking forward, additional objectives involve adoption of at least two new strategies annually to further reduce CSUSB's carbon footprint. All new major capital construction will be developed under LEED or equivalent certification strategies. And a comprehensive plan is being developed to identify and access utilization of existing campus space while also assessing specific needs to support university growth and expansion. Commitment to the fourth goal, community engagement and partnerships, remains strong and continues to resonate with our students. The Office of Community Engagement partnered with the Faculty Center for Excellence to launch the inaugural Community Engagement Faculty Learning Community. 
this past year, 154 course sections were offered that included service learning with a student enrollment of more than 2,000. Since the start of the strategic plan, nearly 440,000 volunteer hours have been completed in service to the community with an estimated value of $12.4 million. Over the next two years, we will build on these achievements while adding several new objectives. We will strengthen our K-12 to college pipeline for students within our region. We will expand our role as an anchor institution, which includes cultivating partnerships and building strategic relationships. It also involves establishing and strengthening relationships with elected officials and their staffs at all levels of government. Identity, our fifth goal, has seen a collaborative institution-wide effort resulting in a tremendous leap in CSUSB's visibility and perception. Under the Office of Strategic Communications Leadership, we implemented a new university branding campaign, which dramatically increased awareness and the positive perception of CSUSB. Our Alumni Relations Office has made tremendous progress on alumni engagement with an increase of 738% over the past five years. In addition, new alumni chapters have been launched, including the Pan-African Alumni Chapter, as well as the first undocumented alumni chapter in the CSU. Moving forward, we will grow university identity as a learning institution by focusing on a culture of evidence and constant improvement. We will deliver transparency into strategic planning for internal reporting needs and continuing progress. And we will engage with campus stakeholders to develop active collaboration. I am confident our efforts as part of the strategic plan will lead to many more success stories and exciting outcomes. Which brings me to a topic that reflects this university's determination to grow as a concerned and caring institution. I want to thank the many faculty, staff, and students who participated last spring in the University Diversity Mapping Study, conducted by a nationally respected consulting group, the report delivered the current state of CSUSB's diversity, equity, and inclusion landscape. It identifies and reassesses our diversity actions and proposes opportunities for growth, improvement, and transformation. The full report is being posted for the campus community to read. Within its key findings, the report commends the university's long-standing and resolute commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, or DEI. The report points out that our existing strategic plan does not define or envision what DEI means to CSUSB for the future and in terms of aspirational and actionable goals. To complement our strong foundation, it advises that we devise a university-wide diversity strategic vision in terms of DEI accomplishments. It also suggests CSUSB engage in diversity restructuring to better align with campus goals. Within this new framework, different voices will be integrated into the process, including student affairs, faculty and staff, affinity groups, and campus cultural centers. 
Professing and promoting these core values is essential considering the turmoil prevalent in our society. As a nation, we are dealing with issues that have been festering for far too long, such as xenophobia, bigotry, racism, and intolerance. CSUSB stands in support of the African American community, which has been plagued by oppression and violence for generations. In the wake of recent tragic events, we, as an institution, recognize the significance of the Black Lives Matter movement. We also refuse to accept the hatred and disrespect currently focused against this nation's undocumented, as well as visiting international students. These are all acts of ignorance grounded in fear. This university rejects such behavior and remains committed to denouncing such actions, now and always, regardless of the source. We declare zero tolerance of any such acts or incidents, no matter where or when they occur. A blow delivered against any of us strikes all of us. There is no road to a better future that does not follow the path of social justice, and it will suffer neither color barriers nor cultural, spiritual, gender, or sexual restrictions. In closing, I know this is not the way any of us desire to open this new academic year. So many hurdles, so many unknowns, so many changes from what is typically a time of excitement and renewal. Yet, while it is not the beginning we desire, it is the beginning current circumstances require. Today, we are united in the belief that our combined efforts are essential to getting to the other side of these rough waters and that our graduates will greatly contribute to this country's recovery. Together, we must continue to strive to be an inclusive community of diverse students and scholars, committed to the positive impact higher education affords our region. Each of us has the opportunity to make a difference. It is fundamental to all we do and desire to achieve here at CSUSB. I want to leave you with a brief look back at some of the successes and inspirational achievements of last year. Enjoy the video and let it remind us that great things and brighter days await us in the coming months. Thank you.